How can focus groups be used for qualitative research? How can focus groups be used to collect data? Well, first of all, what is a, a focus group? Um, it's a group gathered and moderated by a researcher for generating new information, new data relevant to the problem or issue. So it's kind of like a group interview. You get a group of people together that are somehow relevant to the problem, and you toss out questions to the, the group and see how they uh, respond. It can be very productive and generate a lot of new data, a lot of new information, but the facilitators must keep the group uh, focused on the task of gaining useful information. It can just it can go off and deviate pretty quickly if the um, moderator loses uh, control of the situation. And the moderator also, also needs to remain neutral. They shouldn't be asking leading questions or questions that are designed to push the group in a, a, a specific direction. So the purpose of these groups, the type of information gained, can, can vary quite a bit. For example, um, it can be simply to collect information to understand behaviors, opinions, and perceptions. For example, you might gather together a group of engineers in a, 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 a department and say, how useful do you think it would be to have a once a week meeting simply to up each, update each other on the projects you are working on? And they would have uh, uh, opinions, and you need to have somebody that's that's recording it, and then you transcribe it, or at least someone who's not leading the conversation, taking notes so they can take really complete notes to collect this, to generate this uh, uh, information, to understand what people are thinking. Um, you can also use focus groups to determine what people think in a group, which might be different from what they would say as an individual. You could ask a group of younger employees, we'd like to know how you feel as a group about this new benefits package that we're considering proposing to new employees. Get them together, have them discuss it, and see how their conversations evolve as they share uh, ideas with each other. Another uh, uh, purpose of a focal group, focus group can be to generate insights into perceived causes. We can't demonstrate causation, but we can get ideas for causes. Because it's really easy, us, easy for us to think that, aha, I think I know the cause of this, when in reality, there's lots of factors, lots of causes going into some phenomena, and we might be blind to some of them. You could ask a group of manufacturing employees, this last year, absenteeism has been higher than in the past. What do you think might be some of the causes for this? And the employees might, they might also be blind, but they might be blind to different things and they could see different things than you would. You can also use a, a focus group to determine how a group functions and how they make decisions and to understand their processes, to understand their motivation and how they, uh, accomplish something. For example, you could ask a group of, of, of firefighters, how did you go about deciding um, what new information would be shared with uh, the new unit when they arrived at a fire? How did, and get insights into the, um, the, the process that they used to share new information when uh, another group arrived at a fire that they were already at. Um, so that's uh, um, those are examples of what you could use focus groups for, which are essentially group interviews, but with very different dynamics.